Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian aka Punch Fishing and I just want to do a quick walkthrough of my boat. It's a 2002 Skeeter SX190. Um, the boat is super clean. I bought it a few years ago for like 12 grand off a guy at Craigslist and um, it's in amazing condition. And I'm about to launch it but if I, I go through a quick walkthrough real quick just to show you how I kind of have it rigged and uh, what's going on with it and what I've done to it. So here we go. So she's red and white and has the original uh, white bench seat which is kind of rare. Um, it's in really good condition, but overall she was in really clean state when I bought her and uh, I've done some rigging and some upgrades. So I'll walk through real quick at the uh, Yamaha VMAX two-stroke uh, 150. Um, this is a 19-foot boat, so not huge but not small. Um, perfect for me, got the one axle. Um, I've upgraded it with uh, Lorance, let's see, we got HDS uh, Gen 3 9. Um, I have it networked to two HDS7s, uh, one carbon and one Gen 3. Both of them talk back to the HDS9 with the Ethernet cable, so you don't need a box or anything. Um, running a total scan transducer on the back. Um, this guy pulls the sonar off of the Ultrex, um, and then this guy is just for mapping. So that's the setup, and I got a 50-inch uh, shaft, 36-volt Ultrex that I got that last year. Uh, let's see, let's climb up in, go through a few things. Alright, so a back deck is nothing nothing too amazing. Um, this box here, I keep um, straps, rain gear, spinnerbait box, um, and that's just a miscellaneous bag of line, scents, um, panfish stuff, just miscellaneous spinnerbait blades, all sorts of random crap in there. And then down in the bottom, got my cull system for tournaments. Obviously we got dual live wells, everyone's seen a live well, nothing special there. Um, over here, I keep life jackets, PFD and a regular one, and then a tow strap down the bottom, or tow rope, and then various uh, fuel additives and yamal lube, that kind of stuff. So under the bench, keep all sorts of goodies. Um, over here, got my kid's hat. Dry box full of gloves, lighters, um, cables, chargers, all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's see, the iPilot for the Ultrex. Dry bag with all my neck gaiters, fillet knife, so if you catch some walleyes or some crappies. Uh, bump board for tournaments. Uh, I think that's kind of everything in there. Oh, and uh, Rapala scale. Over here, I keep. A uh, box full of trailers, uh, got some random lures in here, boat bling products for cleaning up the, th cleaning up the boat. This stuff is awesome for cleaning stains out of your carpets, um, cull beam for tournaments, wipes for the uh, electronic screens, suntan lotion, bug spray, scrubber, this is for getting nasty things out of your carpet with the vinyl sauce, and then the hot sauce is just for wiping down the boat after, um, after a day on the water. And we got some crappie baits, panfish stuff. So, moving over here, so at the console, um, pretty standard old Skeeter console, haven't done anything. Oh, the previous owner put in this Jensen um, waterproof um, Bluetooth radio. There's speakers here and there, it's kind of awesome, I really like it. And then obviously the big HDS-12. Um, these boats all came stock and still come with stock with a hot foot, so that's kind of nice. Um, I fit, I'm 6'2", I fit really good in this console. Knees don't hit, got plenty of clearance. I'm surprised how well I fit in this older boat, because some of the newer boats I don't fit in very well at all, especially bass cats. So yeah, fit really good. Up front, uh, okay, so obviously this compartment was for a cooler, but it doesn't keep any ice cold, so I just use it for trash. Um, I got a little tool holder here. This is actually a radio holder, but I use it for all my tools. Let's see, we got all my uh, tackle in here, all my boxes. I use like a uh, Plano um, day box over here. Oh no, this is just a Tupperware from Walmart. It's like a day box. And then I keep all my hooks. And down there is all my terminal weights and everything. So I kind of keep all the boxes in here. Then under this one, this is where I keep all my plastics. So, starting at the front here, keep a box with tools. So, scissors, jaw spreaders, 
pliers, all sorts of tools in there. And then these are just some crates with all um, swim baits. And then I got a bunch of these KVD speed bags that are all just full of plastics. Um, sort of organized, kind of throw them in there. Fits a lot. The compartments aren't super huge, so I'm trying to make the best use of all the space. Um, got all my Z-Man's turds in here. And then up here, um, this is the Tackle Titan from TH Marine. It's just for um, when I got baits that are wet and I don't want to put them away in the um, boxes yet so they don't rust. So I kind of throw everything up here, let them dry out, and then move them into their tackle boxes later on. Kind of a cool, cool add-on. And over here, obviously, the rod locker. Um, unfortunately, with these older boats, the bigger Altrex, um, this cable and this door hit each other. So when the Altrex is up, I can't open the door 100% of the way. But, you know, you get kind of used to it. Once it, If it's deployed, you can open it just fine. But you can kind of, you get up to about, I don't know, 75% of the way open without it hitting the cable. So if you have an older boat and you get an Altrex, that's just something you got to kind of deal with. But yeah, rod locker fits quite a few rods but nothing over seven foot five inches I can't really get a seven six in there or an eight footer and then uh, that's it front console that's the whole boat hope you like it